Yo. <coughs> Whoa. Excuse me. That was loud. Um. So, this is Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. This stream may or may not go well. Uh, I can already see that I'm dropping frames, but whatever. I already know that my internet is not the greatest out here. Um, with that said, I found a way to stream my DS's screen to my computer. Uh, basically like screen share. So, I'm doing that right now and I'm playing this on my actual 3DS, which is crazy to me. Because uh, I actually have been playing this a lot in the past. Like, I have an account already, but I'm going to make a new account for this stream and start from the beginning because when I did jump into it there's a lot that's already there and unlocked and it'd be a lot easier to just roll through that organically so we're just gonna do a quick little run and play and see how this goes I'll probably only do this for like an hour or two maybe we'll see I just wanna kinda like test the limits of streaming here because I'm noticing that on Twitch Every time I stream, I'm losing, like, half of my video. Um, and I'm doing, like, four to six hour streams. Um, so when I'm looking at the VOD and it's only, like, two to three hours long, and I know that I stream more and I have more recorded, then I know that my internet is not really worth streaming from. Um, so we'll just do this for a little bit, and we'll see if, uh, if I can get anything good. We're gonna make a whole new me here, I think. Can I? Am I allowed to do that? Or I could just use Iwata. I could use... Well, I have an official Wayne Brady, uh... me. I don't know why that happened, but I do remember one day Wayne, ba Wayne Brady visited my me, so I'll go ahead and use Wayne Brady. Or he visited my DS, and that was an official thing. You can look into that. There was a time for some reason where Wayne Brady just was like, "Hi, I'm Wayne Brady. Thanks for playing Nintendo." <laughs> I would not like to share my gameplay information with Nintendo. I'm sorry. I did that on my other account, so. Um, let me put on my headphones really quick because I can't hear. Um, there we go. <coughs> oh, it's like a nice pleasant bird in the background. Um, so, this might look a little weird because uh, I'm going to be looking at my screen. Well, I guess you can't really see me. You just see my VTuber, so. Thank you so much for purchasing this game. You're welcome. I did actually purchase this game and Rhythm Heaven Fever, and I have a Japanese copy of the Game Boy one somewhere. I don't know where. Um, but this game is incredible. I've been playing it for like a decade or two. Not two, but I've been playing it for as long as I've seen the original game. So I think I found out about it because um, there was an arcade that was near where I live called Gameworks, which is like a Sega owned arcade. And uh, they had an arcade cabinet of Rhythm Heaven and it was the Game Boy Advance one, um, which was really cool uh, because the first game you play, which is always usually the first game, is the same game that is the first game that's available to you in uh, the arcade cabinet version. So, I'm interested to see if it's the same deal here. Well, actually, I know it's the same deal. Um, because... I've played this game to the end. Uh, I just haven't gotten perfects and everything yet. I have in Rhythm Heaven Fever. But I would have to bust out my Wii for that, and the quality's not that great, so... Oops. There's just no beat. I, I need to hear a beat. Yeah. 
There we go. So that screen on the right there, that's what's on my bottom screen. So you can see the little stars show you how early or late I am. Oh yeah, I think it's telling me that right now. <coughs> yep, there it is. It's telling you that right now. So I was just a little bit late. Oh. Oh yeah, this this game had that in it too. So it gives you a special star if you get like a really tough moment in the game. Um which that just was one. Uh and I was wondering about that when I picked this game back up. Like I literally just picked up my 3DS yesterday for the first time in 4 years. Um I guess since I got my Switch. And uh yeah, as soon as I got the Switch, I stopped playing the 3DS altogether. I even had games on here that I was currently playing that I just stopped playing. Um, hi cat. Uh, but, now that I figured out how to cast my screen, it's kind of worth playing again. There's a lot of games that I would love to finish and get through. And there's a lot of things that are only on Game Boy that, um, you can't really play otherwise and by Game Boy I mean DS I just love the aesthetic of Rhythm Heaven it's so funny like it's very charming It also reminds me of WarioWare a lot, which is, I think, like, part of the inspiration of WarioWare. Yes, Tibby, I'll help you go home. Oh yeah, so that's what this game is. So this game has like a story, which the other games don't really have. Um, very interesting concept for sure. This is like the, the most recent Rhythm Heaven game though, so I'm surprised that they didn't bring this to the Switch. Let's we go, amigo? That's... what does that even mean? Yeah, no, I've never heard that. Everyone says it in Heaven World, huh? Maybe that's like a tongue-in-cheek like Mario reference. They like didn't understand how he, would, how he said things. They heard him say, let's go! And they were like, let's we go! Skillion is on.
bee hound. I don't remember this at all. I guess that is very telling of how long it has been since I've played this. I literally have pictures on my DS that are taken from my first 3DS, and they're from 2011. <laughs> That's kind of wild to think about. Okay, so... I have to clear these rhythm games so that this bear could get his flow back. Sorry, this boondog? What was he? He was a bee dog? Dog bee? I don't remember. So this game is a compilation of all the best things from the older games, and I think the music is different. Um, but we'll see. Oh, it's going to show the practice for all of the songs now. So this is the first game that I ever played from Rhythm Heaven, because this is the first game they give you on the Game Boy Advance one, um, which is also the arcade cabinet too. Um, but the arcade cabinet is just one giant button. I guess two buttons, because you have a back button also, but it's just two buttons, and you just push select and back. You only push one button to play this game at all. Oops. I'm not gonna lie, I looked away from the screen at that last point. But I don't think that should have taken away much from me. I actually do want to play a blindfolded playthrough of this one day. Not necessarily of this one, because uh, I feel like it's kind of difficult to do that. But, um... The, uh... Thing. Oh, uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever for Wii, because that one is a lot easier, I think, to navigate through, so I could literally do the entire game blindfolded. So I help this bear flow better by beating rhythm games? This one is a classic too. Timing on this is really tough to get. Oh, was I supposed to do that last one?
One thing I love about this series is that they usually give you a remix of all the songs at the end. And <clears throat> they'll give you like these same levels just with different songs. So it's different from what you're used to. Oops. Nice. Sorry, I got into the music and I messed up on that one part. Otherwise, it would have been perfect. Not perfect, but... It would have been better. Nice. I love the little ending cards on this, too. They always do that in these games. Like, based on your performance, they give you a little ending card that kind of shows you, like, a nice little cartoon about the game. I remember there being lyrics to the Karate Man song, so I'm kind of surprised that they didn't have that in this version. Maybe it's something I can unlock later. Oh, Rupert. What do you want, Rupert? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, that's why. I don't remember what the cafe does for me, but I remember going there a lot and spending coins or stars or something that I got. Um, here, give me one second, I'm gonna close my door. to like <clears throat> remember not to hum to these songs because they're not in sync with the game. I guess that's just like a, a thing with my streaming experience is that all of my microphone input is delayed when it comes to what I'm capturing. I don't know if that's a setting that I messed up or if it's just like that. I wonder if it's the same song as Rhythm Heaven Fever, because that one was a banger. Nope, it's not at all. Maybe it's like a remix of that song, actually. Kinda sounds familiar. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a uh, dude. The Rhythm Heaven Fever one is just awesome. Where they're like slapping it back and forth from like super far. It really helps having that bottom screen just to show timing and other random stats. They never really got that in depth in the other games. They just didn't have the space for that. There was almost like no feedback that you were doing well or bad uh, in the other games, except for like Rhythm Heaven Fever had like a little perfect dude that would hang out in the corner. Here's this little P with like a sticker. Catch the orange. Who is throwing this fruit down the stairs? Why? Why is fruit coming down the stairs? Oh, wait. So you do have to use the other button. Okay, this is interesting now. I didn't realize that I would have to push directions at some point. This must be a new game. Do I have to push both? Oh, it just falls weird. Gosh, a seed pod. Do pineapples have seed pods? I thought that you just cut off the top and plant that for a new pineapple. What is that animal in the top left? It looks like a Jigglypuff, but like, demonic. Ooh. Oops. At least it's like, kinda simple. Like, Oh. I was... I almost spoke too soon. But like, they stick to like the basics when it comes to buttons. They're like A and another button. They don't make it overly complicated and like... Make it so that you have to push like A, B, X, Y, the shoulder buttons, different directions and stuff. You just have two buttons. And most of the time, you just have one button and you either hold it or you just push it once. Fresh squeezed pineapple juice. I don't know if you squeeze pineapple juice though. I'm pretty sure you like just blend a pineapple for that. And then press it maybe? Oh. So, I don't think I get to do remixes yet. I think I get to do those later, after I play like all the basic songs or something. Let's go to the cafe, let's see what's over there.
Oh. Ooh, the museum's open. That means I can replay things there? Shop is closed right now. 